welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. I am Doug and today we are going to look at QuickBooks Online, something a little different. I haven't done many QuickBooks Online videos to this point and we're going to look at how you can open multiple windows uh, at the same time in QuickBooks Online. I have to admit I'm not a big fan of QuickBooks Online. I much prefer the desktop version. Um, there are some some positives to QuickBooks Online, which I understand is, you know, it's becoming much more popular. People are using it more and more, uh, primarily because of its accessibility. The fact that you can get to it from any uh, computer that has an internet browser, basically, that makes it really convenient. And I can totally understand that. Um, you don't have to worry about backing up your company file. It's being taken care of for you. You don't have to go on a server or, you know, maintain backups on your computer or anything like that. And you can access it from anywhere. So that's great. And the fact that you can easily email invoices to customers and in three, uh, QuickBooks payments, you can have them pay it and, and the payments download directly into QuickBooks. Um, that's all great. But other than that, um, I still prefer the desktop version. One of the reasons is because if you're in the desktop version here, uh, you may use this open window. Uh, function off to the side. I know I do. I like to have multiple windows open when I'm working in it. I usually am going back and forth between a lot of screens and the easier I can do that the better. So so I may be looking at a profit and loss statement like this and it makes me think of a question about the vendors. So I can quickly go over to the vendor center and then go back to the profit and loss and say okay look at this income. That, that makes me think of a question of my customers. I can go to my customer center and I can easily go back and forth between them very quickly. Um, but then with QuickBooks Online, you really can't do that. You know, it's all on one screen and you have to either click the, the buttons here, menu options to get to where you want to go, and then go to the new one when you're ready, or you can use the back space button um, to go backwards. But it still takes, takes a little while. You see it takes a little bit longer to load up a screen, go from customer screen to vendor screen. I want to pick out a customer. Um, it's, we're talking about seconds difference, but still that can make a big difference when you're working with a lot of transactions. So there is a workaround with QuickBooks Online. There is a way to have multiple screens open at the same time. All you have to do is whatever browser you're in, this works for any of the browsers as far as I know, certainly um, Internet Explorer and Firefox, which is what I use in Chrome, you can do this. You just open up a new tab, you copy the address line, control C, go to the new tab and paste it, control V, and hit enter. And now basically you've just opened up a whole new uh, copy of that company file. But you can work in them independently. So here I can go into the vendor center. Here I can go into my bank download screen. And I can easily go back and forth and do whatever you want. You can have two, three, four, whatever you want. The more you have open, the Kind of the slower it will work, but that's fine. It still works. So let's say I'm going through here and I'm looking at, okay, here's an expense here from Mahoney Mugs that's been downloaded from the bank and it's uncategorized. So what I say, well, I'd like to be able to go back and look at what I've booked Mahoney Mugs transactions to in the past. So I go over, flip over to the other tab, look in the vendor center. Okay, Mahoney Mugs, we had another check previously and I put it to office expense. So now I know. I can put this one to office expense. And that's it. Uh, and now keep in mind, if I go ahead and add this transaction, if I go over here, I'm not going to see it right away. So whatever, if you make any changes to one tab, the other tabs, you have to refresh them before you will see that data updated. Okay, refresh it, and there we go. Now the other the other one's there. And that's it. That's how you can open multiple tabs. Like I said, you can open up two, three, four. Uh, if you're like me and you like to have multiple screens open so that you can go back and forth and look at different things without having to backspace and choose new menu options, um, this works great. It's a great little tip. Hope it was helpful. Uh, as always, if you like us, uh, subscribe to our YouTube page and you'll be the first to get emails every time I put up a new video and you can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn, places like that. Alright, thanks.